Hi, I'm Jono. I'm going to be talking about open source, free software for the people, by the people. Let's talk about the word free. Um, looking at the word gratis, it means free to use. Uh, if you remember shareware or freeware, that's gratis software. Libra means you're free to do with it as you want. You can copy it, you can study it, you can modify it, you can distribute it. Open source is both of these things. It is not shareware and it's not freeware. Uh, when you get open source software, you get the application and the source codes. And it's like getting the blueprints. It makes the product and the company transparent. There's no secrets. It's like Coca Cola giving out their secret recipe. Hence, open source. Uh, open source software powers a lot of things you use on your Mac and your PC, uh, your iPhone, your Android. Uh, you look at the iPhone. Uh, and the operating system itself is powered by FreeBSD, which is an open source operating system, and Android has a similar story. It also powers a lot of websites that you go to. Uh, the technology behind Google, Facebook, YouTube, uh, these all are backed by supporting open source software in combination with closed source as well. But most of it is actually open source. And the communications that let you, that let computers speak over the internet, all are protocols backed by open source software. Where does it come from? Sometimes a company will open source their product after it was closed. But usually it comes from someone that has an itch to, sca itch to scratch. Um, for example, there's no software to keep track of my scuba diving, so I'll make one. I create the software, and over time I create a website for it where people can download it, they can look at it, they can comment on it and they can contribute ideas uh, they can even contribute code if they want or discuss it they can fix bugs and it can progress from there um, these are usually just websites so it's only really bounded by the internet these projects there's no company walls uh, there's many eyes it's accessible you know it attracts experts like the scuba diver programmer in Finland can just go on the web and search for my software and then they could contribute their ideas and they might be the best person for it you know, I don't have to apply to get into my company or move or relocate on, on these projects there's no dictators um, it's really a consensus based model because if you don't like where a project's going you're free to just take it elsewhere you can copy it and start an offshoot and if people who are on that project before like what you're doing, they're free to follow you and take it elsewhere. This has saved a lot of projects in the past, actually. Uh, Star Office, which was originally a Sun product, uh, became Open Office after it died, and recently had another bit of, had a little rough ending, and it turned into LibreOffice, and the community is actually really thriving now. So that's great. Uh, and that's an alternative to Open Office for those of you who are interested. Uh, GitHub is a website that has a million users. They're, it shows people have profiles showing what projects, what open source projects they're working on. You could see um, who has their hands in what, and it's easy to join a project. It's kind of a social side of web development or of de development in general. There are ways to make money with open source. Uh, usually, people sell support. Companies sponsor certain projects, uh, like Google Chrome is actually backed by Google and it's it's technically open source um, there are a lot of different licenses that ensure different freedoms so when you get a program and you agree to the license agreement this is the, a license that I'm talking about um, I'm going to talk about two of the most common ones um, that are kind of on different ends of the spectrum uh, BSD is like a permissive license it means when you use that software you can do anything with you want anything you want with it you can charge for it. Uh, you can use that software inside your closed software in your company if you want. Uh, the goal is to prevent lawsuits, and it removes all restrictions on the software. Now, a very a, a different kind of uh, license is the GPL. It means you have to give the source code, and if you enhance the code for your own purposes, you're required to contribute the enhancements back to the community. The goal that it basically ensures that the software and its derivatives will always be free. It's ensuring freedom. That's different than the BSD license. Uh, most programmers tend to have a preference for the license they like. I personally really like the GPL because I want to keep software free and believe we can have technology without you know, economic motivations because people really want to do good work. 
See, commercial licenses protect companies and they protect profits. Uh, that's really the opposite from the GPL. The GPL protects people and it protects freedom. It shows that work is motivated by progress for all and not greed. And it makes sure that software is free, which benefits poor people, developing nations. There's a lot of positive sides to it. Uh, side note, if you do like these types of licenses and you create things that's not you, that isn't software like videos, movies, pictures, documents, there are equivalent licenses. Check out Creative Commons and you can learn all about that kind of stuff. Uh, okay, if, if this open source uh, software excites you, you can help. There's alternatives to most software you use. Just look it up online. There's for everything. Um, sometimes multiple alternatives for the same program. Using open source shows you can take a stance against uh, profit-motivated development. Another more ambitious thing to do is to use Linux. It basically replaces your operating system entirely with a different system that's built on open source and promotes it. Here in my system, uh, Ubuntu, they have an, an app store basically that's built in with thousands of free software. Um, there's everything's free. These are not demos. These are full-fledged programs. You can't pay for anything. Um, and another thing you can do is contribute to a project you like. So let's say you find a project you like. You can join them and you can, you know, they don't need programmers. Sometimes they need people just to help improve documentation, translate things, people to, to work on the website, or just use the program and make sure that there aren't bugs. And that's open source software. Thank you.